Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Qtus, Tosca and other Tricentis products, then this is the right YouTube channel for you. Please hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends so that the knowledge will reach to more people like you. Right, the topic for the day is self-healing methodology in Tricentis Tosca. How you can activate this? How we can use this in in real time scenario all those kind of stuff we are gonna see today right before going to that let's let's dive into the topic what is mean by self-healing self-healing is nothing but it's a methodology that uh, if your property is not available for the particular attribute in your module or in your application or screen tosca itself will heal and look for the alternate property using using machine learning technologies so using that tosca will identify alternate properties and will try to execute your test cases based on that so what does this helps so it helps to reduce your maintenance effort so whenever your test case is failing there might be a case saying that uh, the properties are not configured uh, properly or the properties are changed so in those situation you have an option to enable this self healing methodology when you enable that even though the particular property is not available in the ui or the property is changed due to the recent deployment or code move of the application tosca will still go and execute without any error the execution will will get passed let's see uh, in depth demo how you need to enable uh, this self healing methodology how you need to capture the self healing properties all those stuff right the example what i'm going to take i'm going to take the sample google page google search screen where i'm i'm going to uh, manually initiate a property change and i'm going to demonstrate you how the self healing methodology helping you here okay so as usual you can uh, scan your module right you can scan any any technologies there are certain technologies that is supported with self-healing for example your regular x scan salesforce scan dotnet scan java scan all these uh, technologies are currently supported with self-healing other technologies are not yet supported right i'm just capturing this screen now right so when you capture your screen uh, in the scanner you would have noticed there is a properties on the right hand side that's the usual properties we use to identify with some so and so properties in addition to that you can see that you see something called self healing properties this is the one that we are going to use in this demo and i will demonstrate how you need to use that right so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the google search the text box and then i'm gonna select this this one so as of uh, as of now i'm gonna select only this search one okay so in in search one you can see that the default property whatever uh, it is chosen it may be aerial label equal to search id equal to some text right and you also have tag it's equal to text area right this is the usual property that we use to choose okay in addition to that you can either you can choose the health self healing properties during your scanning itself or you have an option to update once it is scanned both options are available so i'm just going inside with self healing properties you can see that similar kind of property you will be able to see associate label and there are some um, area again area label class name id all these are by default selected if you want you can select more uh, feel like title all of those stuff right but most of the time tosca identify this health healing property using machine learning technologies so what this will do it will try to identify alternative property what is meant by alternative property for example in your regular property you see that um, the class or aerial label was selected here by default right if you can scroll down we'll see that aerial label equal to search was selected and id equal to so some id was selected by default so these are all the property that will be used to identify by tosca while you are executing your test cases and how these properties will be used if if you select both of these properties then it will be used in and condition 
both your area label and id should match with this if either one of them are not matching then tosca will throw an error okay so for example if your area label uh, area label is changed then your test case will fail okay but in your self healing properties you have some other properties as well title okay which can be used if area label is not available that's the meaning of self healing if one of the properties is not available or changed completely you can either use the uh, different property itself altogether with a machine learning mechanism called self healing right so i i am you can save your uh, module now as usual okay self healing properties are chosen by default you no need to do anything okay it will be chosen by default with uh, with some machine learning mechanism right either you can choose additional uh, field like visible or some other uh, valid property that you want to choose you can still choose that but tosca automatically does that for you i have already captured this module for the demonstration purpose so i'm just closing this right so once you captured your module your module will will be look like this okay so your regular properties will be here area label id tag all of those stuff and you can see an additional tab called self healing uh, property where you can uh, see that additional properties from self healing uh, methodology are automatically coming here this is in addition to your regular properties so for example your area label is failed then it will it can look for the class name it can look for the title all of these are additional properties that it can take it as alternative right uh, these weight will will come into this weight when you execute your test cases right and you have an option to add new property where you can add new property after your scanning is completed as well that is also possible right let's go into test case okay once you go into a test case for example in this google search page I, i'm just going to type abc in this text box that's a very uh, that's a validation i'm going to do as part of this test case okay so for example now what i'm going to do uh, i will explain this okay there is a tcp called self healing okay that tcp needs to be added if you want to use uh, your self healing mode okay you need to turn on your self healing mode there are a couple of option either you can use combination or waited okay we'll come to this later but at the moment what we are going to do either you can delete this self healing itself that that will be your usual scenario you you may not add any tcp called self healing in your normal test case you will just go and put your test step and just run this right so instead of that you can put false as well so i'm going to mimic okay some scenario where uh, the property is actually getting changed and how the uh, test case is failing in the real time okay for example i'm going to invoke the uh, developer tools here right and i'm going to change the property manually for example this is the text box that i am uh, getting interacted so you can see that the moment i click in the in this right we come here right this text box the developer tools is giving the whatever properties that is already there so area label uh, area label was search okay i'm just trying to change this to search one now this will Im uh, imitate like if a developer changing some properties it will be reflecting in your ui similar to that i'm just mimicking this right now i i did not enable any self healing and all it is false so or you 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 need not give any self healing tcp itself so i'm just going to execute this test case now the expectation is the one of the properties is changed so the test case should fail let's give it some time and let's see whether the test case is actually getting failed and what is the reason behind that all of those stuff okay the test case execution is still in progress it is searching for the element it will result in a failure in some time okay that is case is failure now let's go to the tosca and let's see okay the scratch book comes up now you can see that the search button it is could not find that editable control so you see that 
the id and area label was search and we gave input as search one now so that's the reason it is failed right now in in the same test case i will be enabling something called weighted for the self-healing uh, pcps what is mean by this weighted okay so whatever you have in the weight column of your uh, module attribute self-healing properties that weight will be calculated into picture there are some all these are machine learning so you don't need to input anything okay for example if you come to the other uh, other uh, button google search button tosca automatically calculates and gives the weightage okay it automatically gives weight weightage one for each of things so which is nothing but which one should take priority okay so 0 0.5 is the highest one so it will look for the uh, first of all, it will look for the class name and, and it will look for the default name like that. Based on the weightage, it will look for the uh, properties available uh, in the UI or not as an alternative. So here, all are weightage one. If you want, you can change it, but keep, keep uh, as it is whatever is Tosca is throwing, right? So it, it initially, it will search for class name. Uh, whether the class name is uh, existing or not uh, if class name is not there or class name is mismatching then it will search title like that it will go in round robin method if you give weightage okay in this option if you if you give combination it will look for the and combination again class name with title class name with area label class name with id like all those combination it tries to execute and finally it will be able to find but weighted is the most optimal way that you can use okay now i have turned on this self healing methodology i will be running the same test case now let's see what happens if the test case is actually i i want to type something abc in the text box let's see what happens if it is actually getting failed or the text box is typing with uh, some values or not let's give it a minute okay the, ex the execution is passed now you can see that and in the execution log as well you will see that that uh, self healing icon is mentioned here which is which will indicate saying that the self healing methodology is used okay to heal the module to heal the module you can, you can see that uh the self-healing properties was used and what was used all those stuff it will be mentioned here right so that's how you need to use your self-healing uh methodology to reduce the maintenance of your test case overall uh, so that you can increase your automation rate over the period of time right so if you want to learn more about other tosca features like vision ai tosca copilot and other uh, decks, Tosca server. I have already uploaded video about these topics. Please go and refer my channel and hit the subscribe button. Thank you all. We'll meet you in another.